Hey guys, back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new gun. It's a, an ASL. So, yeah, let me just show you guys. I just got this for Christmas. It's actually really cool. Um, I got it at, well, my mom got it at I-70 for me. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys it. And now I hear my friend. Sounds about right. I mean, just, yep, yeah, look at that. So the box itself is like a carrying case. I actually really like that about it. Sorry, guys. Let me just, just push that down. I've already opened it um, once. Because it's like a, basically a case for it. At least it works like one. Let me just find somewhere to put the spirit bag. Um, this is my ASL. Let me just, uh, three, two, one. Yep, this is the ASL. Um, and I guess it's basically just an M4 because it uses my M4 mag. So let me pick out my other one. This is my other M4 mag. And, uh, yeah, it fits actually quite nicely in it. I've gotten two batteries for it. Fits perfectly. If you guys can't tell, it feels very nice. Um, for the gun size, it feels pretty nice. It has a sweet stock that extends. Oh, and um, I haven't told you guys this, but it's like really accurate. Like really, really, really accurate. Um, the gun itself cost around 300 bucks. Um, I got a fast charger for it, or a speed charger. It'll charge it in less than half an hour. Here, let me show you guys what it looks like. Uh, it looks something like this. Uh, it charges it really, really fast, like I said. Uh, this right here is to clean it. Uh, Basically how it works is you put your cloth and your cleaning stuff at the end and uh, you shove it as so down the tube and um, yeah, so that's that part of the gun. Um, then again, I got another mag. This is a weird, really, really weird caution thing. I don't know why they put a caution thing inside of it. Um, anything else in here that I forgot? No, that's really everything for this gun so far. But yeah, I got two mags and everything. I'm actually going to be playing Airsoft with a friend Friday. Um, that's actually going to be really fun. I haven't been in a while, but... Yeah, um, the great thing about this gun is that it is a right and left-handed gun. Here, let me just... Crap. Uh, one sec, I gotta... Get something. Sorry, guys, my, uh... There, um... Okay, so the gun itself is kind of like a double-sided. So if you look, ah, right here, you will see that. Okay, that's it. Let me just pick up the computer. There we go. Put that. So if you guys look right here, it has a click for semi and full. And then on the other side, it has the exact same thing. So it's if you're right or left-handed, um, you can 
basically do that. Um, if you grab this, pull it back, all the way back. Uh, there we go. This is where the hop up is, so that right there is the hop up. And that just clips back on like that. Um, so right here, the battery goes in. So how you open it is, there's like two clips on the back right here. You're gonna press it in and it just pops right off. And then you have your plug in and then you just plug in your battery, which both of mine are charging right now for when I go play yourself. And then if I can match it up perfectly, just snaps right back in place and then you're ready to go. Um, the gun weighs around roughly 10 to 15 pounds. Um, for me, I really, really like the gun. Uh, it's really stupid accurate, like I said. Um, let's see. Oh, the mags are really cheap. You can find the parts about anywhere. Uh, if, then again, if it breaks, which I haven't had any problems with this specific one. Um... I love, absolutely love how it feels. It doesn't feel bulky in the front, like right here. It doesn't feel bulky when I grab it. I can hold it naturally and it feels comfortable. Oh, let me just get my... Yeah, guys, sorry. That's just that. Uh, let me just get my other hat on. Yeah, I have two hats. My mom got me uh, my North Mom Pride on it. So the gun naturally doesn't feel too heavy. It extendable stock, as I said. I usually do it at two clicks because it feels comfortable. Just to let you guys know, this is an airsoft gun, not a real gun. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you, you can probably hit this on the ground a couple of times. Not hit it, but drop it. Won't break. Don't toss it really hard. Um, take care of it, and it should last a while. Yeah, they also got these babies. Uh, and, uh, enough of the games and stuff, but uh, last thing, they have a strap attachment. So here's one bit, and then here's the other. Um, if you guys would like to see the exploded view of it, I actually have another M4 out there. Almost the exact same model. Actually, I think it might be the exact same model. I'd have to go check, but there, I do have an exploded version of it out there. Um, I could always do a video of that if you guys would like to see it. Just hit that subscribe button all the way above. Like, subscribe, just kind of makes sense. Um, I love the trigger on it. it it's... I'm just really comfortable and I barely have to squeeze it back to shoot. Um, I do not have a battery that's charged to put in it because I'm getting ready for Friday. Yeah, you just, it gets about like, here's where it starts. It pulled back about that much. It usually ends up shooting. Um, yeah, then again, the gun is amazing. You can get a long stock, you can get a short stock. It's a bit, it, it, overall, I love the gun. Thank you, I-70, for this. This is really awesome. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I don't really have much else to say other than that I would definitely recommend this gun for anybody who's beginning airsoft or... It's a good budget starter. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it is a great budget starter. Um, let's see. That's really everything I got. Let's, I'll bring it back. I'm going to read this really quick. Back officially this time. Um, yeah, I found out what this is called. It's called the handguard, stock, trigger guard. 
Um, I think this right here is where the motor is that powers basically everything right here. Um, there is a lot in it. Oh, then again, I did I didn't say this is a double-sided mag release, so let me show you. It's a double-sided, so you can push it on this side, or you can push it on this side, and it still comes out. Um, the only thing I would dislike about this gun, probably the price on it, it's, uh, I mean, it is a great starter weapon, not a weapon, gun. Um, very nice, I guess. At least in my opinion, I love the gun. But for a starter gun, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, and the pricing is a little bit expensive. Only downside, yeah. But some pros about it. Okay, I'm just gonna. Some pros and cons of the gun is I don't. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna start with some pros. The gun is amazing. Great starter gun. Great. Just. The first pro I got, extending stock, I love that. Uh, some of my other guns, like the uh, GFSMG, that gun doesn't have a sliding stock, so it is a definitely a pain to, because it would always be really far. Um, love the sights. The sights are amazing on this gun. Absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend this gun for that reason. Um, handguard has like four different side attachments. It's got top, left, right, bottom. So you can put like a grip here. You can put one of those handguards here. Um, yeah. Um, definitely how it's a double-sided gun. So you got left and right hand users. I love that about the gun. Um, some cons, in my opinion, is it's a little heavy, but because you're going to be running around full, well, me, I usually go full sprint so I don't get hit, but then again, whatever floats your boat, uh, it is definitely just a little heavy. Um, I don't really prefer how you have to pull this back like really far and then slide it forward because it doesn't always work. I don't like that about it. Okay, there we go. I got it to work that time. Definitely a struggle with that. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, I really do like the gun. Uh, I would definitely recommend this to all new airsofters, like I said. Um, one other thing I would recommend, if you do get this, get one of these. Let you guys look at it. It's a really, really good speed charger. It'll, it charges everything, like, in under half an hour. I love the gun. It's straight up awesome. And, um, yeah. And later, tonight, I might show you guys my... Uh, setup that I usually use. I do not have an electric or gas-powered pistol. Not there yet. <laughs> but other than that, I'm on this video right now. So, other than that, I would definitely recommend this gun to all new airsofters. And if you guys would like to see the shooting test, like, subscribe, and please comment down below if you guys want to see it. Because I will be doing a shooting video where I shoot this. So like subscribe thank you guys for watching and um yeah wait wait gotta do it gotta do it there we go peace